I'm Robert Estrin. This is livingpianos.com. Today, I'm going to say that you should practice the piano every day. Every day. You should never take days off. Well, you know, occasionally, sure. But generally, you should practice the piano every day. And why is this so important? There's a number of reasons. Now, other instruments have their reasons. As I've mentioned before, I'm also a French hornist. And on the French horn, like many wind instruments, there's a physiology to the lips which produce the tone. And if you miss a day or two days, God forbid, it's so hard to, to get back into shape if you miss too many days because the lips are such tender muscles. The piano doesn't really have that issue so much. You know, if you miss a day, you're not gonna feel drastically different in your hands. Why is it so important to practice every day then? Well, there's two reasons, fundamentally. One is that certain aspects of piano practice are extraordinarily difficult and taxing and can't really easily be crammed into less days, like memorization. When you're memorizing music, there's a certain amount of that you can absorb fairly easily, and then it's an uphill struggle to keep putting more music into your head. You gotta really be committed and work extra hard to put the third, fourth phrase in there, with, you know, if you've already learned three phrases. Now it can be done, but it's harder. So why not take advantage of that fresh mind each day, learn something, even if it's just a short practice session, it can really help you in the long run if you at least nibble off some of your score each day. The other reason is that a lot of times you'll feel like you've made two steps forward and four steps backwards. Why? Because you practice, then you leave it for a day or two, and then you come back to it and say, oh, did, did I even learn this? And it's like so demoting, demoralizing, you know, because you, you feel like you can't learn anything, you know? It's like you can't get that continuity and then you're just learning the same thing again. You, and it not only isn't as productive, but it kind of drains your soul. You know, you don't feel as excited about practicing when you come back to it and it's like, ugh, you gotta do that all over again. Instead of, you come back to it, and yeah, you'll forget some from the previous day, but it'll come back pretty quickly. And then you get right to work learning more music. It's encouraging, you can keep the momentum going. So those are the reasons. Use your mind when it's fresh, even if it's for a short practice session, and keep the continuity of your learning day by day. Not just memorization, refinement. You might have an epiphany in your technique with arpeggios and then you'll skip a day or two and you come back to it and say, I thought I had this. Or maybe you finally knocked, uh, you know, had a revelation about wrist technique and you've always had trouble, you know, getting a good wrist thing and then you finally get it, then you're busy and you come back to it and you go, what was that? I know I had it. Do it every day, even if it's a little bit. You know, you might not have time, but hey, dinner's in the oven, you got 10 minutes. Practice, even those short amounts of time make a big difference if you do it on a regular basis. I do the same thing with exercise, by the way. When I'm waiting for something, I have something in the microwave heating up uh, some coffee or something, you know, and I'll do some, some push-offs the counter and some stretching and, uh, you know, take advantage of every moment with the things that are important in your life and over time, it makes a dramatic difference in your playing and in your life. So that's the message for today. I hope it works for you. Let me know in the comments on livingpianos.com and on YouTube. Thanks so much for joining me and subscribing. The bell, the thumbs up, all of it. See you next time. Bye.